Hello and welcome to my channel, this is Serhat Arona and you're watching 5 minutes review, let's go around. The Seat Arona is a small crossover that can surprise you very positively. The Arona has beautiful designed headlights and a medium sized front grille with a large logo in the middle. From outside, the dimensions of this car are similar to the Skoda Kamiq. It has quite a spacious interior and a perfect visibility. But more on that in the moment. The side silhouette is very clear and compact. The rear of the car also looks great, especially with a fake double exhaust. That's your keys. In this configuration, we don't have the bottom start stop engine. We've got the standard key lock, unlock, and unlock boot. Okay, you can just unlock the boot and you need to open it manually using your head. The amount of liters you can see right now on your screen and I will show you what you've got inside the boot and the dimension of the boot. We have nice flat floor inside the boot. Of course that's the double floor. We had one light, two hooks, one side pocket, double floor which is very very solid and below that you've got space for the spare wheel. In this configuration we've got the compressor and tools. The boot is long up to 70 2 cm, that's mean 28 and a half inches with a seat area up to the upper part of the backrest. There is 130 and almost 134 cm, that's mean a little bit over 52 and a half inches. The boot is wide, 101 and a half cm, that's mean almost 40 inches, and is high up to the shelf, how I call it, a little bit over 17 and a half inches or 40 five centimeters but if you want a little bit more space you can do something like that and the boot will be high up to a little bit over 55 centimeters that's mean almost 22 inches okay that's all about the boot let's take a look under the bonnet in this model under the bonnet you will find 1.0 petrol engine and all other details you can see right now on your screen. Let's go inside the car. Okay, let me start as usual from the handle. Uh, so, it's, I'm a little bit worried about the movement, but this is standard in the back cars. I mean, um, Volkswagen, Skoda, Seat, so that's, that's standard. But you've got enough space for the fingers. Also, you've got the same space here and the same story with the handle. Okay, let me open the car. To be honest with you, the car is very, very dirty inside. Please apologize. As usual, let me check the quality of the door. The upper part looks like, yeah, it's hard. It's made of hard plastic. Here is nice and soft. You've got soft armrest here and your pocket in the door with a space for the water, bottle of water. And that's the seat, which are, I would say, very, very, very soft and also the side support is very soft here also everything is very soft okay let me jump inside the car okay guys i'm inside the car and i will start as usual from the visibility as you know i'm 193 centimeter tall and the driver's seat now is on the lower position and camera will be on my eye level that's the huge surprise just take a look around see so we've got lots actually i've got lots of space here between the lower part of the mirror and lower part of the windscreen usually this mirror is here and after that i've got something space like that but in this car look at that it's plenty plenty of space around myself so beautiful beautiful visibility okay the a pillar are very very narrow i would say with lots of space between the the mirror and the a pillar i'm just a little bit worried about the mirrors the mirrors are very 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 small and the visibility is not perfect for me anyway just look at that it seems like the capture on the left side of the car is very very close to the rear of the car but there is a lot of space and i will show you that look at that also on the front you see the clio the clio seems to be very very close to my car actually to this car but it's not and uh, let me let me show you that first let's take a look to the back there's lots of space here lots of space and also there is lots of space between this those two cars look at that plenty of space plenty of room all right so the dash is made of hard plastic 
Here it's nice and soft. By the way, I told you before the car is very dirty, so don't worry about it and please apologize. And so the steering wheel looks like that. And to be honest with you, it's very pleasant in touch. Very pleasant. Uh, I really like the steering wheel. Of course, it's a multifunctional. Uh, you've got only analog clocks. I'm not sure if this car has the offer the um, virtual clock. Maybe the new one, but I'm not sure about this one. To be honest with you, the entertainment system should be a little bit higher and the airbags below that, but it's what it is. Everything here works very well and very smooth and very quick. Yeah, so you've got everything what you need actually. Below that you've got your air conditioned panel with some physical buttons and two knobs, I like it. And two USB port C, a huge induction charger. That's your automatic transmission. You've got some mode drive. Look at that, you've got individual, eco, normal and sport. What else? You've got two cup holders, very huge handbrake handle. The seat itself, like I said before, they are very, very soft, but, but they are very comfortable. That's my opinion. Here you've got some small storage, whatever, 12 volt socket and your glove box, which is quite spacious, I will say, made of hard plastic, but it's not a surprise. Let's take a look. Here you've got your sun visor with mirrors but without any extra light you put the extra light only here but you don't have any pocket for your or any compartment for your glasses sunglasses so i've got i will say plenty of space for my leg on both sides and above my head look at that over over eight fingers even nine i will say so that's that's perfect that's beautiful lots of room lots of room especially on the front of the car but unfortunately you don't have any armrest here so that's huge mistake from that producent I will say all right so that's all about the front let's go to the back okay let's take a look on the quality of the door the upper part is made of hard plastic hard plastic hard plastic everything is here hard though the back doors are made of hard plastic and look at that I'm 193 centimeter tall like I told you before I've got some space for my for my feet and the driver's seat now is in the lower position but I don't have much space for my leg but anyway I will say is it's okay it's okay for the short distance i can travel like that but the back seat to be honest with you is only for two adults and uh, hmm, or two small adults and one small child uh, apart of that you don't have any any pocket here uh, no any extra air vents and that's all no any, not even extra light here okay guys and that's all about sad arona please let me know in the comment below what you think about this car what you think about my review as usual please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching take care of yourself and your followers and see you next time